Domo is a business intelligence software tool that lets users create powerful visualizations from their data and share them with others. If you're in the market for a business intelligence solution, you'll want to consider Domo. But if you're not sure where to start, we can help. Use our product selection tool at technologyadvice.com to get free business intelligence software recommendations. Click the link in the description below to get started. Domo runs on a platform called the Domo Business Cloud. This system lets you connect to data from a number of different sources, including cloud apps, files, databases, on-premise, and from an API. Domo also comes with tools for transforming data like ETL, SQL, Blend, and an R plugin for writing custom code in R. Once you're ready to start using your data, you can create visualizations called cards. Cards can be shared with colleagues individually, embedded on a website using HTML, or they can be used to create dashboards. You can also share dashboards in several different ways. Using Domo starts with linking your data. After you open Domo, click on Data from the top navigation menu. Here, you can connect data from a cloud application, a file, a database, an on-premise source, or from an API. You can then transform the data if you need to and apply filters to sort through multiple data sets. Let's start by importing some sample data. Our data is stored in an Excel file, so we'll click File and drag and drop our file into the dialog box that appears. After the file has been uploaded, we have a few options. We can create custom alerts to notify us when our data changes, we can transform the data by creating a data flow, we can share the data set with a colleague, and we can create a visualization or card. Before we create a visualization, it's important to make sure our data is clean. Let's create a data flow to remove any duplicate data points. We'll expand the Edit Data menu and drag and drop Remove Duplicates onto the canvas. Clicking the white dot on our data set lets us connect this to the action we selected, and we can select a column to check for duplicates using the drop-down menu. Let's look for duplicate order IDs, and we'll leave this box unchecked since we want the search to be case sensitive. Now we'll go back to the Datasets menu and drag and drop Output Dataset onto the canvas and connect it to Remove Duplicates. We'll give this a name and description, and we'll do the same for our new data flow. Our data flow is finished, so let's save and run it by clicking the arrow next to the Save button. At this point, we can also choose whether or not we want this data flow to run manually or automatically in response to certain triggers. For now, we'll choose to manually run this workflow. When it's done, we can see all the versions of this transformation in addition to other information. With a newly cleaned data set, we're ready to create a visualization. Going back to the Data tab, we'll click on our cleaned data and then click Create a Visualization. Domo will automatically generate a visualization from our data, but we can customize this in all kinds of ways. Since we have a lot of geographic data in our data set, let's make a world map to show sales by country. In the Chart Types menu on the right, scroll down to find the world map and click on it. We'll clear out the data Domo automatically grabbed and replace it with the data we want to use for our visualization. From the Dimensions menu on the left side of the interface, drag and drop Country to the canvas. Now we'll go to the Measures menu below to drag and drop Sales to the canvas. This lets us see how many sales we've made by country, all over the world. We can hover our mouse over a certain country to see specific sales, or we can use the Filters tool to look only at a certain region. Let's drag and drop markets to the filter cell to zero in on sales made in the Asia Pacific market. We can also make this filter into a quick filter so that users can easily interact with our visualization later to look closer at information they're interested in. Domo also lets users create dashboards using their cards. Once we click Save on this visualization, we can either save it to an existing dashboard or create a new dashboard. Let's click Create New Dashboard. We only have one card on here right now, but we can add more cards or create new ones specifically for this dashboard using the plus button in the upper right corner of the interface. We can also assign card creation to a colleague. Once we've fleshed out our dashboard a little more, we can share it with others. Domo lets you add other users to your dashboard to collaborate and share a finished dashboard with colleagues. For sharing with colleagues, we can send them a link to view the dashboard in Domo, or we can publish the dashboard as a slideshow or export it as a PowerPoint or PDF file. We can also turn this into a regularly scheduled report by clicking Schedule as Report. In addition to letting you transform data and create visualizations, Domo also has an alerts feature, an app store, and something called Buzz, which is an instant messaging tool for Domo. Alerts lets you see all the alerts you're subscribed to from cards and datasets, including a filter tool to see certain kinds of alerts. Buzz has a discover tool to show you trending topics and discussions, and you can organize topics into conversations and save important messages by flagging them. 
Finally, the App Store is a place to find integrations for the tools your organization uses the most. This lets you securely pull data into Domo for cleaning and visualization. Still not sure Domo is right for you? Use our product selection tool to get a free list of business intelligence software recommendations. Click the button on the left to get started.